For regular fans and ordinary people, entry into the world of thoroughbred racing may seem out of reach. Mary Leitner and Lisa Gooden of Shooting Star Thoroughbreds have changed that by offering affordable partnerships with a unique syndication program. Horse Capital TV is powered by John Deere and brought to you by FTBOA and the Florida Department of Agriculture and Showcase Properties of Central Florida. One share is $2,500 and it, it's good for the whole two-year-old year. And at the end of the year, the horses that haven't been claimed or sold during the year will be sold privately or at public auction and the syndicate will end at that point. It's the all-in cost, there's no van bills, blacksmith bills, vet bills, everything's included in that in the 2500 for three horses. Actually just one day at the Thoroughbred Club in Lexington, Kentucky, we were sitting there with some friends and um, you know we're talking about what are these syndicates really all about. We decided that you know why not take a shot at it, give the opportunity for you know for people that really can't play the game can get in for you know $2,500 and, and uh, have a good time. And really, we had just been having a conversation about the, the sport needs more fans and how do we get people involved. We saw that a lot of the syndicates only had one horse in them, did some figuring and kind of came up with the plan to do Shooting Star with three horses and all in where the price point was low enough for a normal person to be able to get in and play. It was an unusual year in the fact that, you know, the first year stepping out and doing something different that, you know, that we uh, had so much success, um, but it did all start with, with Chance. It, it was a pretty special year because we also had a horse by the name of Island Commish that ended up being a grade three winner as well. And, you know, that was our goal. We wanted to run in the Florida Sire Stakes and told Safi that when we took the horse down there and he was, you know, willing and to let's give him a try and he realized that he did have a pretty nice horse there. And everyone that came down was in the hotel together, you know, at the beach the day before the game having a great time and and um, so it, you know, all the way around, not just and at Gulf the races. Stream was fantastic. Stacy Nix uh, helped us to get a space for all of mm -hmm. us where we could be together and they were very welcoming to us Absolutely. and did a great job keeping us together. Mm -hmm. and made a really good entertainment for all these people. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, this is their first opportunity to ever mm -hmm. be in on a horse and, and uh, the experience was fantastic. Mm -hmm. When we got off to such a big start our first year, you know, this is just our third year going into, mm -hmm. so it's kind of hard to say really because 2020 was an anomaly. Mm -hmm. People didn't get to go to the races and that's part of the reason is to get it that they wanted in is that they could have the experience. For 2020, every starter we had won. Our first year was really good. You know, it created a lot of expectations <laughs> going forward <laughs> for people first time in the syndicate. Yeah. You know, you run third and they're like, oh, we ran third. Are we good with that? And I'm yeah, like, yes, we're, good, we're that. good with that. You know, so. Or second at Saratoga. Are you okay with that? <laughs> yes, we're great with that. <laughs> so there has been a little bit of, you know, the bar's uh, been set pretty high, but, you know, that's, that's okay. We're going to do our best. We have three in one syndicate this year. It's got a filly by Uncaptured named, her name's Unconscious. She'll be headed to Safi down in Florida. We have a, a filly by ba um, Byron that's a Kentucky bred that she'll be going to Kentucky with Safi and a Jimmy Creed colt um, named Cryptic Creed and he's a Kentucky bred. He'll go to Kentucky. In our other syndicate we have two Florida breds. One's a Florida sire by Noble Bird. Her name's Noble Dreamer. She'll go down to Safi at Gulfstream and then the other one is a Boo Galoo is her name. She'll go down there. She's a Florida bred but she's not Florida sire but she'll go down to um, Safi as well. We work extremely hard you know, um, Mary's here at the barn every morning. She sees the horses every morning. She knows if they're eating or not eating or what's going on with the horses. So to me, I think that that's very important as well is that, you know, that you're, you're here every day and um, you're very much involved and, and know what's happening on a daily basis with the horses. You know, really the thing is, it's about the horse. If you have a good horse, mm -hmm. you're gonna win races. And you know, that's what it all comes down to good and happy horse. <laughs> exactly. You can learn more details by visiting shootingstartv.com. Wardrobe provided by Dillard's Market Street at Heathbrook Ocala. 
This is Karen, and this is her land. She's been here a long time, along with Mojo. The first fence post went up here. Now there's 5,000 of them. After the storm, she started the cleanup here. And when she needs some peace and quiet, she always finds it right here. This is more than just land, it's home. Karen runs with us on a John Deere 3E Series tractor, because who says a day's work has to take all day? Nothing runs like a deer. Search John Deere 3E Series for more.